Hey, good morning, everyone. You know, this uh the Daryl Brooks uh, case, uh, I've been following this uh, with the Law and Crime Network. And also, too, I just want to give respect to Max V. He did a wonderful job and just live streaming this case uh, on the on this trial here, you know, day by day. And Daryl Brooks in his outburst, you know, uh, I'm going to say, I believe Jennifer Darrow, who is the judge right now on this case, she's been extremely patient. As you can see, like Daryl Brooks is the individual here on November 21st. He decided to run his SUV into a parade and kill six people and injured dozens of people so now he's been charged with since then he's been charged with like 77 charges uh 61 counts right 61 counts of i believe it was reckless endangerment and six counts of first degree intentional homicide all right and you know so far you know he's going against the state of wisconsin he don't believe that's the plaintiff and he don't even really address himself as mr brooks it's crazy with this uh, huge outburst, not even showing up to court with uh, a suit on at one time. And I'm looking like, man, you know, this this is a complete clown. He fired his three attorneys that was going to represent him in the court. But you see how that went, right? So even though he's entitled to represent himself, he still is going to get a life in prison, I believe. You know, they don't have the death penalty. But I think is to, I believe his strategy is to go ahead and frustrate the jury so much to the point that they make a radical decision and say, all right, hey, he's just free from the charges, but that's not going to happen. And no, it's just too many uh, evidence here. You have the police officers, it was the witness. He even, um, when he was uh, going to, uh, you know, testifying against or he was uh, doing the cross examinations with his girlfriend, right? I believe Miss Eric Patterson and they got into an argument and he was asking questions that was unrelated to the case. And um, he continuously had outbursts. He interrupted the judge and the judge just said, hey, we're going to continue this uh, trial without you since you're going to be disrespectful. And it removed him from the courtroom. And uh, yesterday it was just a clown show, man. He was just it was pre-recorded, but he was crying. And so I think he had a holy Bible in there. I mean, you really can't justify what you did, man. You killed six people, man, you know, at the end of the day. And then I think um, they interviewed this one witness. They allowed him into his home because he was asking for an Uber or whatever. I think he he was homeless. It was crazy. But this is before he actually went to the stranger's home. Uh, the cops, the Wisconsin cops, they tracked him down and arrested him. And uh, I just couldn't believe it because when I heard about this story, I was like, man, why, why would you plow through a parade there? You know, and he was just saying, like, I was trying to honk my horn, justify what he was doing. It still doesn't matter. You had complete control at the end of the day, man. So he's trying to please Sandy. If he is, I'm just saying, literally, I don't know. But at the end of the day, it's not looking good for him. And he's going to do life in prison. So, I mean, hey, you know, Derek Boyce, I don't really feel sorry for him. I don't care what color you are. You know, you're killing innocent people for no uh, specific reason because you're going through something or a relationship issue. It is what it is, man. Now you want to break down in court. So, um, you know, with Derek Brooks, I think this is going to continuously uh, to be continued probably to next week. And uh, they're going to start wrapping it up, though. But this opening statement, so I was like, oh, goodness, man. <laughs> it's, it's it's ridiculous on so many levels. I think, too, they say he was a, uh, I can't even say the word, but he was like a, that S offender uh, originally. And uh, I think he got upset, too, when the prosecutor uh, brought up his history. So it's not looking great for him, you know, with Daryl Brooks. And I thought about live streaming one of it, you know, one of the, because I find this case kind of intriguing. So um, I want to give just a lot of respect uh, once again to Law and Crime Network and learn about this. Um, I remember when we first started, he was like grounds, objection, relevance, and everything kept saying <laughs> sustain, sustain, sustain. I mean, he had to, it was just ridiculous, man. Like he could, really couldn't have to change his narrative, change his questions. He keep asking questions that was unrelated. Uh, you know, even the cops was just looking at him as a bozo when he was just interviewing, doing a cross-examination with the detective. You know, so describing like, hey, you know, did he have hair? Uh, describing the person that was in the vehicle, that was operating the vehicle during the parade. You know, trying to say that, oh, I ain't, he ain't had long hair and all this stuff. It was just crazy, man. So at the end of the day, it's a surround of evidence that Daryl Brooks is guilty. And they're going to throw the book at him. But <laughs> some people think this is like kind of entertaining. But I want to say this too. My condolences to the victims here too. I mean, I can't even imagine. Like you dare to have a good time. And they you know you have some idiot that doesn't want to go ahead and just do what he wants to do and just intentionally kill people with a vehicle. You're going to like, I think he was going like 20, 25 miles per hour. That's still fast enough uh, for a crowd of people though. But at the end of the day, man, on law enforcement, you know, I think they did a good job. Like I said, you know, uh, not only investigating, but capturing this man. Uh, I think they do when, when he went through the barricades and, you know, just 80 people that were injured, you know, the casualties there. But that's all we have to say. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video here. 
Um, if you guys want me kind of, you know, start doing live streaming, court cases and stuff, I'll do that too. You know, missing cases. I'm starting to have like a little niche for it. And I just find it interesting. But like, comment, subscribe, share this video. It's your boy Only Junior. I really appreciate the support. I'm out. Deuces.